Government in 2016 under EI181 restricted the importation of 49 products, including magnesium trisilicate suspension, diazepam tablets, and folic acid 5 mg tablets for local manufacture. The new EI 2023 aims to restrict 142 products in three schedules without consulting. The new EI 2023 aims to restrict 142 products in three schedules. The Ghana National Chamber of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Importers and Wholesalers Association claim the long list could jeopardize healthcare delivery to Ghanaians and encourage smuggling of unregistered drugs into the country. If this restriction, 142 products, are allowed to come in place, it's going to cause serious issues with medicine security, price hikes, shortages. Uh, it can even cripple the national health insurance and it can also cause serious unnecessary deaths in the country, which is not appropriate. So we are calling on the MOH to put an immediate stop to the current EI in its form. Some of the drugs that we, they, are, they are seeking to ban, as we speak, there are some of the drugs which we have less than three manufacturers in the country. And we have over 20 people, uh, companies importing these same drugs. We think that if you take such a drastic decision to ban most of these things, we are going to have shortages. For example, Ghana's local medication manufacturing capacity has grown by 40% post-COVID, with small-scale producers increasing from 10 to 100 and large-scale manufacturers from 29 to 40, according to the Pharmaceutical Manufacturers Association of Ghana. All our manufacturers are utilizing between 30 to 50 percent of our capacity because we are just doing one shift. We have actually supported them significantly. We've sat down to draft contracts, with subcontracts, trading terms, guidelines, several things to support contra manufacturing to say that because we have excess capacity, give us whatever molecules you want us to manufacture. We'll manufacture for you and you sell under the same names that you have. So that instead of giving business to India, China, or wherever else, it will come to a local manufacturer so we can create jobs. So what we want to do significantly is increase how much is being manufactured here so that we can reduce our dependence. That's all. The health ministry has assured importers and the public of a smooth transition. The drugs are placed in different schedules. Schedule 1 contains the medicines that have already been restricted in the past. Schedule 2 would be restricted immediately. And for Schedule 3, there's a period of three years. The fact that a drug has been restricted does not mean that the um, branded products will not be allowed to be brought in country. The FDA, based on the informed manufacturing capacity of, for each medicine, advised the ministry on what to do. It's not as if between today and tomorrow the EI will be passed and therefore there will be immediate restrictions. I just want to allay the fear of the general public that there's no need for any fear and panic. We still work in progress. The Honorable Minister will ensure that the right thing is done and we'll still continue to engage all stakeholders, including PIWA and Chamber, the Chamber of Pharmacy. Government plans to increase local pharmaceutical production capacity to 60% and transform Ghana into a manufacturing hub and export center under the African Continental Free Trade Agreement.